You might have heard about Azure Sphere. Katie from the Azure Sphere team is here on the IT show today to tell us everything about the Azure Sphere security service and why you developers should care about it. Hi everyone, you're watching the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host. Today we have Katie from the Azure Sphere team. Katie, thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me, yeah. So for our audience, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, so I am the dev manager and architect for the Azure Sphere security services. Uh, and so Azure Sphere, if you're new to our product, is an end-to-end solution to do IoT security. And so our product actually involves silicon OS, and services that help secure and guard your device. And so I run the services component of that. Awesome. And we'll talk a bit about that. Um, I don't think you don't have a laptop, so we don't have actual demos. But there are things for developers that are coming that are interesting that we will talk about today, right? Yes, totally. Awesome. So the security service for, uh, for Azure Sphere, something that we talked about it here and there on mm -hmm. the show at events and so on, mentioning, hey, there's that thing that's going to do everything for you. Yeah, totally. So what are the main things that this Azure Security Service, or Azure Sphere Security, yeah. AS3, that's what yes. you like to call yeah, it. Yeah, our right? acronym's AS3. Um, so if you think about Azure Sphere, it's based on this paper that came out of Microsoft Research called the Seven Properties of Highly Secured Devices. And some of those properties involve just silicon, some involve silicon and OS, and some involve silicon OS and services yep. all working together. And so the, the three properties uh, that the ser security services provide are uh, Certificate-based authentication, so how okay. do your devices auth and prove what software they're running. Okay. Uh, we do over-the-air updates, so how do you update uh, not only the operating system, but applications on the device, and okay. so this is renewable security. Mm -hmm. And then we have things like uh, error reporting, uh, which allows you to look at what's happening in your devices, diagnose them in the field, but also detect are they behaving in a weird or potentially compromised way so that you can then go take action. Okay, makes sense. From the certification perspective, it's funny because we were actually discussing internally with like things around how to use CA certs versus mm -hmm. health signs and so on for IoT devices, what I mm -hmm. call the regular IoT devices. Yeah. Can I consider the um, the Azure Sphere Security Service as a CA and and basically consider I don't know I mean like something that Microsoft owns and manages yes. that allows you to have the certificate manager that actually is, yes. is on Microsoft Cloud. Yeah, so one of the nice things about the Azure Sphere product, if you're in the IoT space, is you don't have to worry about certificate management or interacting with another um, certificate authority service. We uh, actually build into our OS every day the device wakes up. It says, you know, I am this Azure Sphere device and I am running this software and proves it mm -hmm. in a cryptographically strong way. Uh, we verify that on the services. We do a process called remote attestation and okay. then if if everything checks out and you're, you are who you say you are and you're running valid software, we'll issue you your certificate. Um, and then you as a consumer do nothing. We just, it magically happens behind the scene. Your code that you write for your application would just say, hey, I need a certificate to do mutual TLS to this endpoint. Um, okay. And then it just all happens. You don't have to worry about any of that. So you have to, to deal with other of these CA out there that actually cost a lot. Uh, and that's part of the service for Azure Sphere. Yes, right? yes. So we take care of all of that for you. It's very turnkey. You mm -hmm. don't have to do anything. Got it. So the second aspect of things are, are that that um, update mm -hmm. of the software. Mm -hmm. uh, and you were mentioning, so this is the OS update, the Azure Sphere OS update, mm -hmm. which actually we take care of. Yes. Uh, and then there's the, the actual uh, you know software is running on it. Right. Uh, so tell me a bit more about uh, first on what's going on for the Azure OS, the Sphere right. Ad OS. Right. On, so on one device, of the right. properties of like security is that. Uh, you're never secu you're secured at a point in time, right? It's not forever. Yep. Uh, we find zero days, there are bugs, right? And then we go patch them and update them so that they're not exploitable anymore. And so mm -hmm. when you look at one of the properties of renewable security, we just take care of that for you. Um, we ensure that you're ship we're shipping Linux uh, patches every month right now so mm -hmm. that your OS is staying up to date okay. uh, and you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. um, some of the big attacks that have happened in the past, like WannaCry and NotPetya, were yep. essentially uh, caused or they exploited a vulnerability in operating system that had been patched for years, frankly, and an update had not been applied. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, the operating system portion. You don't have to worry about managing it. You can almost think of it like uh, if you're running as a platform as a service in, mm -hmm. in Azure, uh, it's going to do all the OS updates yeah. for you. You don't have to worry about that. But, but that, that's a part that actually doesn't freak me out, but uh, makes me think about uh, you know operations. So mm -hmm. if I have a Sphere device that is actually 
on operations. It's actually on, I don't know, factory floor, mm -hmm. um, dealing with some conveyor belts, whatever. Mm -hmm. I cannot afford that thing to just like start reboot, update somewhere while it's running. Mm -hmm. So how do I, as a, a customer running mm -hmm. my software on an Azure Suite device, kind of control when that, that that update right. happens, right? So, so uh, normal behavior, it'll just do it if you don't care. And then we have a feature in the operating system where you can say, I would like to defer this update until I finish my critical path activity. Okay. Okay. Um, and so that's where we give control to the developers to say, tell us what your application needs. Like maybe you don't care and you just want the update as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, and maybe you need to wait for a okay. short period of time to finish what you're doing. So typically, is it fair to say that a developer building a solution with Azure Sphere would have to eventually get a notification from the Azure Sphere security service that a, an update is coming, mm -hmm. offer an option to the operator to apply now or delay in his own UI or whatever, and then refer back to the Azure Security Service. Oh, right? uh, yeah. Actually, we the feature we have is just in the application. So you can okay. say, when you're running your application, like, this is a critical uh, path. We okay, don't want to like okay. reboot. Like I'm running my dishwasher. Like mm. that would be yeah, horrible yeah, yeah, to yeah. reboot. And so you can just say, I need to finish Got it. this okay. cycle. These are the critical paths that I can't reboot the device okay. during. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's it's when you build the app basically yes. that you think about this kind of thing. And this takes out like an operator having to make a bunch of decisions around security, essentially, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so if I want to update my own software mm -hmm. running on these devices, what are the basic steps that we'll have to take as a developer? Yeah, so we actually provide an SDK and a Visual Studio experience, and you can yeah. actually run Visual Studio Code now on Windows and Linux, which is super exciting. Uh, right. And you can develop your app. You develop it in C, mm -hmm. uh, and then you test it locally. There's mm -hmm. a whole experience where you can debug code running yep, on the device, yep. which is awesome. Once you're ready for that, you're going to package it up using our tooling or uh, directly talking to the REST APIs for okay. the services if you want to write your own tooling or hook into your own build and pipeline systems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you update that to us, mm -hmm. you, you upload it to us. We actually go and then sign that software for you, so you okay. don't have to deal with code signing, which is okay. also a, t a tedious and cumbersome and difficult yep. to get right process. Uh, and then you would go and configure which devices you would like that update to run okay. on. You All push that update yeah. to um, a device group, which is essentially you can think of as a cluster of devices. Yeah. Uh, and then our service will just make sure that that rolls out to all these devices okay. um, over the course of a day, and yeah. then your new app will be running. Okay. And so you have like an ocean of campaigns of deployment that you can configure, retries, and so on. Everything is taken care of. For mm -hmm. you, right? mm -hmm. Easy. You're making developers' life, you know, they're yeah. going to be just like chilling. I mean, I think I get really <laughs> excited about update because I was in uh, Xbox games yep. for a long time and I watched that transition from like offline, you get a ship disk, right? And then like two years and then yep. nothing else happened. And then uh, we get online connectivity with Xbox Live mm -hmm. and now you get all this great stuff like. Um, title updates and downloadable content and episodic mm -hmm. content and free to play and all of these things where there's all these different interactions that can happen. Yeah, yeah. It's really exciting to see like what businesses and users will be creative and think of like new models now that we have an updatable, uh, renewable like app update paradigm. I like that. So I think you, you kind of mentioned that, but just to make sure, all of that is integratable into a CI CD pipeline, right? So if mm -hmm. developers have their own way of, of managing their, their, their release cycles, mm -hmm. um, actually they can just like, like build and they can integrate the push Mm -hmm. as an update to the devices as part of that, right? Yeah, so while uh, previously we'd only shipped a CLI experience for doing this, mm -hmm. we have a publicly documented REST API now. And so you okay. can just run whatever code you want against that and then talk to our services directly and integrate that, whether that's into your build pipeline or um, you have a custom web app or, or yep. whatever your workflow is, it just works, yeah. Love it. Last but not least, diagnostics. Yes. The developers, they like to know how things are going. Yeah. Right? So what kind of information do we get from the Azure Sphere Security Service in these diagnostics yeah. uh, interfaces? So I think the important thing to think about when you think about uh, diagnostics is we're really just providing information about the operating system or your application and how it's running mm -hmm. and not like what the specific app is doing like a coffee maker. We're not okay. doing that level of telemetry. Okay. Okay. Uh, and so what we're going to give you is like, is your app crashing? Is the OS crashing? Mm -hmm. um, like, and this can help you diagnose. Uh, are there network connectivity errors, things like mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. And this can help you diagnose, like, did I push a bad app update? Or, yep. like, are my devices having trouble connecting to the network, which could mean that, like, my Wi Fi is um, spotty or yep. down yep. or yep. bad, right? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Okay. And eventually you can look at patterns and try mm -hmm. and identify, oh, someone is actually trying something there yes. and, and being more alert. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. Well, Katie, I think that's a good 
overview yeah. of the Azure security, Azure Sphere security AS3. I need yeah. to, I need to get <laughs> it's used to it. It's a mouthful, yeah. yeah damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why Azure Sphere, that's what it starts with. Uh, great solution for microcontrollers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have several um, uh, hardware partners that we're working with on these solutions. Yes, so uh, what's shipping today is the MediaTek chip and yeah. dev. There's a couple different dev kits you can now buy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we're, we have announced partnerships with NXP and Qualcomm to okay. make chips, um, future Azure Sphere certified chips. So we actually really have a whole silicon ecosystem, which is very exciting. Uh, I'm coming from the embedded development world, yeah. so I am uh, super excited as well. Looking forward to more of that. Yeah. Katie, thanks a lot for coming to the show today. Thank you. If you guys want to learn more about Azure Sphere and the security service, you should go to aka.ms slash IoT show slash Azure Sphere. Pretty simple. Katie, looking forward to see you again on the show. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.